In this presentation, I'm going to take you on a tour of Chrome Space, the new GCGC software platform for both instrument control and data processing. Firstly, let's take a look at a sample being acquired to see how easy it is to interact with the data while the sample is still running. While the sample is acquiring, the colour and surface charts are updated in real time and allow the user to interact with them, as you can see in this short clip. In this case, the Benchtoff Select mass spectrometer is the detector, allowing tandem ionisation to be performed. So here we can see the colour plots for both hard and soft ionisation being acquired simultaneously. You can see the colour plots updating as well as the surface chart in the bottom right corner, and this is even clearer as we zoom in. The mass spectra can be explored directly from either the surface chart or the colour plot, and all charts can be synchronised so that the display is updated on all when you only zoom in on one. The data can be explored while the sample is still running, with the one-click library hit shown in full effect here. And if you wish, the library browser can also be launched with a simple double click to explore the full details. Now, let's take a closer look at some of Comspace's display settings and data navigation tools that can help to speed up GCGC processing. As I have mentioned, Chrome Space is available for both instrument control and data processing, with the modular workflow shown here streamlining the process. A range of file formats can be imported, meaning that the software can be used to process data from a variety of third-party detectors. In this case, we're going to be looking at data from Benchtoff MS. The main Chrome Space screen is very flexible and has a simple icon-driven style to limit the need to find drop-down menus. There are linked collapsible panes that can be moved to suit user preference, and handy linear displays that help those who are new to GCGC to visualise the peak shape. The modulation period can be changed easily without having to re-import the data file. The colour settings can also be easily customised, with saved templates displayed here. These can be easily edited using the colour palette. The colour settings also normalise to the largest peak in the window as you zoom in, so there's no hassle of having to recolorize the image every time in order to see the trace peaks clearly. The usual cosmetic interpolation of GCGC peaks is the default setting. However, we can also switch off the interpolation to see the modulated slices more clearly. Contour lines can also be activated to help to highlight peak symmetry. Zooming out of the chromatogram is a simple double click, limiting the need to find icons and menu options. The panels can be easily rearranged to suit user preference. On the spectral panel, there's an instant library hit displayed. And extracted iron chromatograms can be launched directly from the spectra by a simple click of the mouse. The 3D surface charts add functionality so that they can actually be used to browse data rather than simply be used as pretty graphics in presentations or publications. Here they are dynamically linked to the other panes and the spectra can be browsed directly from the three-dimensional peaks. If 
if we go back to the extracted ion chromatogram that we launched earlier, we can see that multiple 3D images can actually be opened within the same window. Here we can display the plots in a stacked option side by side along either axis. Or in an overlay mode, where we can alter the transparency of the overlying plot to see what is underneath. If we rearrange the screen to show multiple windows open at once, we can see that the displays are synchronised. So if you zoom in on one, all of the others are updated automatically. And you can even zoom in on the 3D chart directly. Next, we're going to look at the integration and more importantly, deconvolution, because even after two dimensions of separation, coalitions may still remain. In the GCGC integration process, a critical step is the merging of modulated slices. In Comspace, classical integration algorithms can be applied with simple settings to ensure that the correct slices are merged, even if there is tailing present. Once integrated, the peak and sub-peak markers are displayed as default, but these can be easily hidden. The peak boundary can be highlighted too, as we can see here. When a peak is selected, the Slice Explorer tool can be used to examine the merged slices in more detail. Here, the table provides all of the sub-peak information, and if MS data is available, the peak spectrum can be compared to those of the individual sub-peaks too, to verify merging. For deconvolution, only the minimum ion counts need to be entered, making it simple for novices to use. After deconvolution is applied, we can now see that two peak markers have been applied to the single peak, indicating a coalition. The projection plots show the deconvolved profiles of the two components, while the one-click library allows the coaliting compounds to be identified. In GCGC analysis, Identification of every individual component is often not necessary, especially when using single channel detectors such as FID. Instead, full chemical classes are reported together in a group type approach. Homespace enables users to create stencils to classify regions of the chromatogram. The stencils can be created quickly and built up into adjoining meshes. Entire sections can even be replicated to allow complex meshes to be created in a matter of seconds. The final shape of the stencil can then easily be adjusted to fit around the peaks of interest. Here we see a stencil being prepared based on a banding standard for total petroleum hydrocarbons analysis. In this case, the aromatic and aliphatic hydrocarbons must be classified in groups according to equivalent carbon number. The stencil properties can then be customised, allowing different border colours or styles to be used. The stencils can then be named for easy reporting of the area results for each region. The annotations can also be customised to allow user-defined font style and size to be selected.
Once the desired stencil is complete, it can be saved and applied to real samples, as we can see here for a contaminated soil extract. The solvent and column bleed regions can be easily excluded prior to applying integration to the stencil. Different integration parameters can be applied to each individual region, and any peak whose apex marker falls within the stencil will be included. The integration of stencils allows a simple area percent report to be generated for a fast overview of sample composition. In GCGC analysis of complex samples, the needle in a haystack problem often arises when searching for target species. To overcome this issue, simple scripts can be created to quickly identify target compounds or classes based on specific spectral or chromatographic properties. In this complex colour plot for a cannabis extract, if we tried manual searching for organochlorine compounds such as pesticides, it would be quite a time-consuming process. Instead, we prepare a script to search for the characteristic isotope pattern of chlorine. These scripts can be as simple or as complex as required, and the pre-configured buttons and flagging system to notify the user of any errors can help novices to easily create scripting expressions. When the script is applied, a new filtered image is generated, which only shows the peaks which have passed the script criteria. Unlike when using extracted iron chromatograms, where many peaks may share the target iron, the background here is free from noise. If we rearrange the windows, the filtered surface chart can be viewed alongside the filtered and original TIC colour plot, highlighting the clean image that can be generated by scripting. The three peaks which pass the script in this case can clearly be identified as two polychlorinated biphenols, or PCBs, and the pesticide chlorpyrifos. These scripts can also be applied during the integration step or saved as part of an automated method for streamlined workflows. If you would like more information on what Chromespace can do for you, or if you would like to arrange a full software demo, please contact Sepsolve today.